cut. <laughs> oh, he's dead. He's not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, man? How's this stack up? This is a little bit more hardcore than the zombie hunter. Oh, yeah. You only had to get a fake ear. This time you got your whole shit covered. <laughs> <laughs> Better than the fake ear. Yeah, really. <laughs> awesome. What's up, MVP? Welcome back. Here we are. Um, the special documentary of Making of Devil Comes Down. Uh, we've been documenting the, the events uh, and the creation process of our short film for the American um, Zombie Short Film Contest. Uh, our entry is called Devil Comes Down. By now, hopefully, you've seen the YouTube videos where we all argued about which one to do. You've seen uh, our footage from on location. Well, here we are. It's the last day of the shoot. Um, it's still. It's just now noon. We've got a couple hours before before all the extras are supposed to arrive at the set. Um, Dr. Savini is working on the makeup for on Tony Rogers right now, making him up in the final zombie makeup. Uh, the whole thing has just been just been crazy hectic just a wonderful time what can you say over the past week we've uh, we we did our casting um, I talked to the voice actor to do the narration who's actually going to be um, Rob Simmons who uh, you may have seen out the NC cast in several Shakespearean performances and whatnot the guys very talented we're, we're looking forward to talking to him um, you know I don't know what to say I'm just I'm just enjoying all this process and and documenting this this stuff and and we put it up it's not like some kind of ego trip from from us but this is part of you know what we do for for other filmmakers you know for guys like us that, that might might want inspiration maybe they're sitting there on their couch thinking you know I can make a movie if these guys can make a movie I can make a movie and hopefully you know seeing something like this will inspire you to get up and get out and just get it done because we have no money but you know what we 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 pretend like we have a million dollar budget every time out and we have a lot of fun with it so you know, if, if any of you out there are working on short films, you know, post your behind the scenes stuff. I love to watch that kind of stuff. I love, it, it's it, it's like film school, you know, we get to learn from each other and learn about each other's tricks and, you know, what we're all kind of trying to accomplish or where we failed, where we succeeded, all those kinds of things. But, so here we are. I'm just rambling like a madman, but it's going to be a fun day. Thanks for joining us and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this. We'll see you. What's up, MVP? Here we are on the set. We are getting ready to shoot our last day of um, on Devil Comes Down, which is our short zombie film. To Georgia. Project. Yes, Devil Comes Down to Georgia. Uh, our short zombie film project, which, as we have said many times, we are entering in the American Zombie Short Film Contest so that George Romero can uh, choose this as the best one and we can win and hang out with him and trade lots of stories. And collaborate on his next feature. Exactly. So, yeah, that would be awesome. I, w I want to be a zombie in a George Romero film. Is that, is that how we do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so by now you should have watched all the videos on uh, YouTube. You've seen how we discussed this and how our makeups were going to work out. And you saw, you saw Todd's Archer zombie makeup from last week, which was really very subtle and highly, highly detailed. I mean, he, he put a lot of detail into the face and everything. It was very, very subtle, where if you saw from a distance, you wouldn't immediately recognize it as, as, as being an um, individual that's anything other than just a normal person. But the closer they get, you know, the worse they look until you get all the way up close. Now this one, we're going to the opposite end of the spectrum in that we want it to be very obvious that this is a zombie makeup, that there is something, you know, wrong with this person. Um, so, we are going to ask uh, Dr. Savini here about what his ideas are for this makeup and, and what, what he's going to try to accomplish today. Okay. Well, as um, some of us know, this is a recycled appliance uh, prosthetic from C for Chaos, um, which is about the only thing I had lying around. You know, <laughs> I, I could either have done an out of the kit makeup like I did on me, but more extreme, or use the one appliance I have. So um, I had to stretch it glue it and stretch it to fit um, his face as it wasn't made just you know it's kind of generic um, wasn't actually made for his face uh, but you can make usually you can make about any appliance work if you try hard enough um, and wherever there's some seams and you know if it doesn't look quite right I'm just gonna make that more decayed looking and, and just put more makeup around that area, like uh, 
right here. That's good so far. Go in close on Tony there and get a good shot of that. Oh, and I did not mean to neglect to um, reintroduce everybody to our actor here, star actor, Mr. Tony Rogers, <laughs> reappearing as a zombie uh, in a, in another Mutantville production. Who, who would have guessed that that was going to happen again? <laughs> MVP's Bruce Campbell, if you will. <laughs> yes, he is. So we are very grateful for his uh, assistance today. He's always a trooper when it comes to shooting and takes makeup like a champ. Well, it looks good. Well, we are not going to get in your way too much there. So uh, we'll leave these guys alone because they're going to have to work on that for a little while. We'll come back periodically to show you kind of the stages of, of how the makeup is progressing. But um, we're looking forward to finishing this film today. We're going to have a lot of fun with it, and hopefully you'll have fun with it. So talk to you later. What's up, MVP? Welcome back. Here we are a few short hours before shooting our last shot for devil comes down moments like this I never know what to say I mean people on YouTube they, they always find it so easy to call you stupid or you suck or whatever whenever you get a camera pointed in your face and you're supposed to say something that people are gonna watch you know for perpetuity supposedly <laughs> yeah you, know, you always uh, all the Shakespeare quotes kind of leap out of my head so um, one thing I'll admit is I always get scared before I shoot I just get deathly scared deathly scared like the night before I just I get ill to my stomach because you always if you start to think about it and you think We've got people coming from all over the state, maybe even some people from South Carolina. When we put out a, a call for extras, you know, and you've got all these people come in, and um, we were we were trying to coordinate makeup, and uh, we had plans for a um, bonfire to go off. So we had all, when you got a bonfire, raging bonfire, you know, I mean, we had to get fire permits, you know, talk to the to the fire department, you know. Plus, you're talking about any, people could get seriously hurt if something went wrong with that so yeah the night before I'm sitting there sweating and my stomach hurts and all that stuff but the beauty of it is, is once these these projects get rolling it's like a locomotive you just you kind of set it in motion and it just it just kind of barrels forward and, you just, and it just kind of carries you along because because eventually in about two hours you know everybody's gonna be asking me what we're gonna be doing and you know I've already lived out all this stuff in my head beforehand and and wrote it out in the script, so I know absolutely everything we're going to be doing, how it should look, you know, which way we need to go. Like right here, we're, we're just going to have one shot today. That's as simple as you can get. You know, complications will arise from how many people we get, you know, what what their wardrobe looks like, because we are relying on people to, to dress, you know, prop, in the proper attire for them on their own. Um, you know, I'm just glad we finally got to, got to this point. You know, we actually knew about this contest probably six months before it started. We spent... If you watch those videos where we talk about our initial idea, what you don't see is the five months that we where we actually argued about about these <laughs> ideas. Um, because I got I got kind of upset because Brent took the idea from my script and wrote it into his. And you know it's no big deal we're working together, but as an individual creating a work of art, you know, I I couldn't bring myself to separate myself from my own work and my own version of my idea from what he had done with it and you know his was I, I you know just made me hate it because he was doing that but you know we had to work it all out uh, eventually our compromise was I was willing to shoot both movies we were going to shoot mine and Brent's Brent's being more complicated possibly taping as much as you know like four or five weeks to shoot and his would take multiple special effects you know as we detailed earlier this one's going to be really simple and whatnot so, so my plan was, okay, we'll, we'll shoot both of them. I'll be a cameraman for, for Brent, you know, and, of course, I'll direct mine and whatnot. So long story short, you know, uh, uh, Brent and Todd get in a huge argument over the makeup, and they decide that, that, um, that, that it can't be done. They don't want to work together. And, you know, so we wasted, you know, our five-month lead-in, you know, for nothing, just arguing. And here we are shooting mine because we have enough time left to do it because it was simple, which was the whole plan behind everything was to make it simple so we could be sure to get it done easily and efficiently and all that kind of stuff so I'm just rambling we're waiting for for Geo Swanko to show up and help finalize the lights here and uh, then uh, you know it'll just be another hour or so before all of our extras start pouring in from across the state and we get to have some more fun with this so hopefully you're enjoying these things if not you know more power to you post something on YouTube that I can watch and enjoy because I look forward to you know, seeing what other filmmakers are doing all the time. So we'll see you soon, guys. Talk to you later.